mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. And it is time to talk about the Real Housewife of New Jersey. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now if you are new here and you want to join the Beret Troop. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. We are on our way to 30k. So if you want to join the family, you know what to do. And let's talk about this mess. And this is like messy part of the Real Housewife of New Jersey. And we need to talk about Tracy Lynn Johnson, the new housewife, which by now she is just a friend of the show, but I'm, ge I'm getting the sense that she might become a full-time cast member pretty, pretty soon. I actually kind of like I'm enjoying her. Um, even when she goes against Teresa, like, I, I think that she she does what it takes, and I think it's a new kind of like, mm, like a new energy around, and it's a little bit different from the other ladies, so I'm really, really enjoying her this season. Well, she is coming forward to set the record straight mm -hmm, on her ma marriage to uh, Tiki Barber, okay? So I'm going to read you this and then we're going to discuss a little bit because you know that she has been like accused of being like a home wrecker and that like, she used to be the nanny and all of those things. So basically, uh, she says that, okay, so she is setting the record straight on her, how her marriage to her husband, Tiki Barber, came to be after being accused multiple times of engaging in an affair while Tiki was still married to his pregnant ex-wife, Gigi Cha. Okay, so there's stuff out there that Teresa like said on one of the li latest episodes that it just got us like, wow. So it says, uh, Teresa, you guys came hard for Tracy recently on an episode of New Jersey, slamming Tracy for being a mistress and a nanny who broke up Tiki's marriage. There's stuff out there about you, that you were the nanny, that you broke up a family. Do I ask those questions? Uh, and then she says, like, I don't, uh, I don't care. Like, you can ask whatever you want, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then she said, I wasn't the nanny, but I don't have a problem with people asking me, asking me that. Okay. So everything goes down. And to a report from the New York Reporter, uh, they did a story back in 2010. And they claim that Tracy and Tiki met while Tracy was still in college. And he had even stayed over her dorm room and sent her flowers. Tracy's father also told the Huffington Post that she allegedly was babysitting for Tiki's two children. On her 21st birthday, he sent her 21 dozen roses to her dorm. He also gave her a diamond and a sapphire bracelet, a source told the outlet. However, sources for both Tracy and Tiki vehemently denied those rumors. An insider for Tiki shut down that immediately, saying that the two weren't anything more than friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. She asked, she's absolutely, positively never babysat the kids. They were friends in 2008, they were never roses, and they were never a bracelet. So why is the daddy saying that? Why is her daddy saying that? Mm, does the daddy hate you or something? Like, I don't get it. And it says, the time of their coupling and the subsequent divorce from former wife Gigi seems to check out. Tiki filed for divorce from Gigi in April of 2010 and didn't marry Tracy until 2012. According to a statement given to ET, Tiki and Gigi were already separated when Tracy and Tiki were working together on the Today Show, and the two had a friendship that turned into something more once Tiki separated from Gigi. Girl, please. I mean, this is like basic, like, storyline for homewreckers, like... 
come on. People believe what those tabloids were writing about us from anonymous sources and things that just simply were not true. There was no basis in fact at all. Unfortunately, Tiki decided to stay silent on the matter which didn't help the situation at all and ultimately tarnish his image. Then he said, I don't know, she says, I already figured that everyone everyone knew the scandal, but they didn't hear the truth. I was not the cause of my husband's divorce from his first wife. I most certainly was never the nanny. That's just shameful for people to even think or say because that's horrible to not only me but to my husband and his ex-wife and their kids. So it's just a vicious rumor. Tracy says she had planned on going into her new role on Real Houses of New Jersey to show a true love story. This wasn't some fly-by-the-night type of scandal that happened and we broke up. I think this was a good testament to our love story and it also gave me an opportunity to set the record straight. Well, first of all, you have not set any record straight, okay? Because for whatever we have been seeing on New Jersey, like, yeah, they put this, the, the rumors out there, but like, it was like a second. Like, all of this, we haven't heard all of this from her. So, she hasn't set any record actually straight. Um... I don't know if she was the nanny or not. Maybe she was not the nanny. But the fact that they were friends when she was in college, you know, and the dorm thing, and the da her daddy saying that they sent, him, sent her roses and a bracelet. Come on. You cannot make those things up. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. You know, that's what I'm thinking. Are we going to ever know the truth? Probably not. You know, they're probably going to stick to their story until we have some kind of receipts. But, like, it just sounds... It just sounds like they are trying to hide whatever really happened. Like, at least... Look, look at Margaret. And you know that I'm not too Margaret, but at least she's like, yeah, we cheat. I don't give a fuck. I wasn't happy in my marriage. He wasn't happy on, her, on his marriage. We cheat together and then we divorce those assholes and then we got married. They own it. They move on with it. Think whatever you want to think. But when they go and lie and try to put all this bullshit out there, it's just, I mean, it doesn't sound sincere. It sounds like excuse after excuse after excuse. Mm. I don't know, you know, and when it's reading, it's even worse. Like, I would have to, like, sit down and, like, see her telling the story to really, really believe her. I don't know. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, do you think that she is a homewrecker? Do you think that she is the bad one? Or do you actually believe the story and that this is actually a true love story? Let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.